These are some examples of calculations with sig significant figures. It is important to note that we will only round numbers at the end of a calculation and not throughout the calculation. This will avoid uh, an increasing rounding error throughout the computation. As an example, let's look at simple multiplication of 107 multiplied by 1.524. If we put this in a calculator, we will see that it equals 163.068. The 107 only has three significant figures. The 1.524 has four, and our answer currently has six. The rules are that multiplication must be rounded to the number with the fewest significant figures, which is the 107. That only has three significant digits, therefore we must round our answer to three significant digits, or simply 163. The rule is exactly the same for division, so as an example, I could take 107 and divide it by my 1.524 and my calculator will produce the number 70.2099 and 74 and, and several digits beyond, but I've rounded it a bit. We also are limited by the three significant figures in the 107. Therefore, we must round our answer to only three significant digits, or 70.2. Addition and subtraction are a little different. We count the number of decimal places and then compute the answer to the same number of decimal places. So, as an example, I will add 0 0.037 to 3.1502. The first number only has two significant digits because leading zeros are not significant. However, there are three decimal places. Our second number has four decimal places and five significant figures overall. Therefore, the minimum number of decimal places is in the point 037 which is 3 and we should report our answer to only three significant uh, three decimal places so if we add that and round to three places we should get 3.187 our answer has four significant digits but more importantly, it has three digits in the decimal places. The same rule applies in subtraction. We count only to the decimal places. So for example, if I take 103.83 and subtract 103.83, two seven zero three five the minimum number of decimal places here is two in the 103.83 and so when we report our answer we should only report two decimals 
So, 0 0.55965 is what we would get if we do the subtraction. And we should round this number to two decimal places, or 0 0.56. Now, you may notice that we have lost a significant number of digits in our answer. We started with five here and many more there. However, subtraction often loses the total, a, a significant digit or more uh, in the calculation, whereas addition may increase the number of significant figures over overall.